You know, I'd rather just talk. Since the birth of texting, I prefer to hear the voice. Critics have called it the death of communication. According to a University of Nebraska study, though, the technology brings us closer. My family's in Florida. I'm in Jersey. Um, so, yeah, we, we do communicate quite a lot through texting. As for the content of the text, according to the survey, 60 percent of people said they rarely lie in a text. And 80 percent said they were more likely to express their feelings honestly through text rather than in person. So you don't you don't text your parents? No, I don't. <laughs> they don't know how to use a smartphone. Half of the women in the survey said they believe texting helps connect and enhance relationships with their families. You get to communicate with more people on Christmas Day, I think. It's how Brenda Fredrickson talks to her kids. Uh, I like it because it is, it's made our relationship better because we talk more. Without texting, she'd rarely hear from her daughter who lives in another state and has a busy work schedule. If I text them and I think, it's been a long time nobody's answered me, then I start thinking something's wrong because usually they're right on it. Yeah. Not not with a phone call, though. (laughs) They don't call back? No, they don't call back. That takes a while. (laughs)